meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. Hello everyone, for our action today, we've come to the Vaughan Invest Weserstadion on the River Island here in Bremen. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and my partner ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk is Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Werder Bremen facing Sheffield Wednesday. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Bittencourt. And he stopped them in their tracks. And here's the initial 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other. They should still cause problems today. Will we find the net? There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Agu. Marvin Dux. Now, what can they do from here? Surely the equaliser. Keeper getting the touch. Determined defending. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Well, now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked. Marvin Johnson and he read it superbly Romano Schmidt succeeded in keeping it in play there to win it back Good visualisation, execution. And a very good challenge. An example of how to press. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Well, it's been all Werder Bremen in the last 15 minutes. And they've created chances. It just now needs one of those chances to be taken. But you feel it's coming. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What do the referee think of it? And when you have a player dismissed under these circumstances, difficult to see a way back. Well, what a bad tackle that was. He's just lost his discipline there. Oh, 
Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Chance to equalise. It's got to be. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Valentin. Felix Agu. Agu. He's protecting it effectively. Teammate available. It has to be. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. A short corner. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Mitchell Weiser. Nick Voltemade. Romano Schmidt. Could play it in. Heiser. Vigorous defending. Really good build up, but no end product. And so we've reached the halfway point here at the Weser Stadion. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt.
bitten court. And the fans really want him to shoot. Ball with bitten court. Well, patient passing could be the key to bringing themselves level. And a chance to level it. And a decent save. Full credit. One terrific save after another. Well, the stats don't lie. Their general build-up play has been good. They've carved out several opportunities, but their shooting has been way below par. That needs to change, and it needs to change quickly. Akin Famewo. Weiser. And pull back. That is how to keep it out of the net. I must say, this looks promising. And a chance to whip it in here. And Bremen regaining possession. And into the last 30 minutes now. Nick Voltemade. Bittencourt. Vital intervention. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Windas. And they know they need to stop him. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Velkovic. Nabi Keita. Velkovic. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Now can they make something happen? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Will Volks. Barry Bannon with it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Bitten courts. Velkovic. Weiser with it. Bittencourt. Oh, could be! And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top-class reaction from a top-class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. And with play stop, they will make the change now.
minutes to go short. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Bittencourt. Well, happy to try the bicycle kick special, but not really what he was looking for in the final analysis. Well, he never really looked like making the right connection there. It's a poor effort in the end. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Marvin Johnson. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. But they dealt with the threat posed. Almost at full time, and I'll tell you what, playing away from their home patch has been a pleasant experience for them, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Can he take the chance? There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Is this going to be a thrashing? Three. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.